Welcome to another very informative session from the Kilted Chiropractor. You know, we asked uh, our Facebook uh, fans, what do you want me to talk about? And there was a whole list of things that came up. One of them was the thyroid and uh, thyroid support. So I think I'll address that today because that's a very important thing to, in today's healthcare right, right now. So let's start with this. First of all, what is the thyroid? Well, the thyroid is a gland that lives in your throat. And the thyroid's main function is a starter-upper of the motor. It gets the fire going. It's like you got a wood fire and you got a bunch of wood in it. Well, the thyroid is the blowtorch that you put in there to light the fire. Because if you're like me, you don't light it with all this kindling. You take a blowtorch and you fire that thing until it's gone. Well, the thyroid is exactly that. It's the gland that fires everything up. If you have a low thyroid, it's not functioning properly, you can experience all kinds of symptoms. For example, cold hands, cold feet, thinning, losing hair, uh, cracked heels, cracked uh, hands from dry skin. Uh, you can be fatigued, weight gain, right? You can have, actually, let me read you something here. Applied kinesiology, that's what we do. We are AKA people. When I was re-researching re the thyroid, I found this to be very, very fascinating. Thought processing is in direct ratio to thyroid levels. Excessive thyroid ultimately becomes instrumental in extreme nervousness and psychoneurotic tendencies such as anxiety and extreme worry, paranoia. What does that mean? That means that your thyroid, if it's out of balance, if your thyroid levels are too high, you become agitated and paranoid. There's even one of the symptoms of thyroid is para, what they call paroxysmal crying. I am gonna cry for no reason. Now listen, sometimes, you know, that happens if you happen to be a woman and I'm trying to understand that. We're you know, guys, we just don't get it. But that paroxysmal crying could for, for crying for no reason could be from the thyroid being out of balance. The thyroid is instrumental in what they call fat metabolism. It doesn't mean like, you know, well, yes, it can make you fat if your thyroid's low, but actually more importantly, it has to do with cholesterol. If you have high cholesterol, that's also a symptom of a thyroid issue. High cholesterol. Maybe we should evaluate people for, for subclinical thyroid problems instead of just giving them Lipitor. Hello, MDs, listen, please. Go back to physiology 101, listen. And what I'm trying to say is that subclinical means this. Subclinical, if you have a what they call an over disease, you got you you diagnosed with mixed edema, you've been diagnosed with Graves disease, or you have Hashimoto's disease. These are diseases that big names that from the people who discovered them that mean the thyroid has been attacked and something's happened to the thyroid. You have those diseases. Then you have all these problems and they, they, they give you drugs to, fix, to compensate for the thyroid. Subclinical means that maybe you don't have a disease, but you have a, a, a low functioning thyroid. So the things you can do to help that. Now as a kinesiologist, I muscle test anything and everything that works for the thyroid to find out. Also remember this, that the thyroid's hormones are converted into activity by the liver, the lungs, and the small intestine. So anything that can affect those things will affect the, the, uh, the, will affect the function of the thyroid. At home, what can you do? Well, nutritionally, here's some simple, simple things. Make sure you have enough iodine. Go to your Whole Foods, go to your health food store, get a good iodine, find an iodine and start taking it. You can also make sure you're getting enough protein. And that means good meat protein because it has the, it has the right amino acids that the thyroid needs. If you're strict, a strict, strict vegetarian, you're going to have trouble with it. So you're going to have to find a way to get those, those amino acids. And if you have allergies or sensitivities to gluten and dairy, do not break your diet because that can lead to Hashimoto's. It contributes to thyroid, severe thyroid problems. So please take this advice and do something smart. Thank you.